Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, I'd like to start off by thanking the sponsors uh, for bringing this bill. We heard in seconds that, uh, that why are we doing this, uh, that this doesn't matter. Um, I would disagree with that. I would, I would say this does matter. Uh, this matters very much to the state of Colorado and to many people in this state. Um, and I also want to say that, that you're not wrong. You're not wrong for bringing this. I'm also up here not to tell anyone in this room how to vote, but I want you to hear my perspective. I'm the state representative for House District 34. And I love it. I love being that representative. I love fighting for my community. It's, I'm lucky enough to represent the community that I was born and raised in. And it's an honor to be their voice down here. It's an honor to make sure that, that they have a voice. It's a hardworking community. Nothing's given to the people in my community. They work for everything that they have. They voted for me based off my morals and my convictions. They voted for me based off of who I am, my story, that, that I'm one of them. But do you know what makes me who I am? It's being a father. It's being a, a husband. It's being a son and a, and a neighbor and a friend. And that honor that I have in representing my community, it pales in comparison. It's not even in the same league as being the father to, to Gabriella and uh, Logan and, and Autumn Grace. And on Monday, we had a break. And I, I got to, I went up and I had lunch with with Logan and I had lunch with Autumn Grace right after Logan got out of preschool. And I was looking at it. And I looked at, I looked at Logan and I looked at Autumn as I had this amazing opportunity that I don't typically get because we're working during the day to go have lunch with my kids. And I, I thought about Representative Sullivan. I, I thought about Senator Fields. I thought about members of our community that they don't, they don't get to, they, they don't get that opportunity ever again. They don't get to have lunch with their kids. They don't get to see that smile. They don't get to experience the things that I have the opportunity to experience. And breaks my heart when I think about if I ever lost one of them. If something ever happened to them, because I know what I would want to happen to, the, to that person. And that may be wrong. That may make, that my morals may be out of whack there, but I know what would want to happen to them. And I ask myself, how do I go look another father in the eye? How do I go look another mother in the eye or, or a grandfather or a grandmother and tell them that they can't have the perceived justice that I would want if something happened to my kids. But this isn't an easy decision, members, because I also recognize that the system is broken. I don't believe that it's a coincidence that we have three men on death row in Colorado and all three of them are black. I don't believe that's a coincidence. I believe that Representative Melton makes a very good case. But like I said, I was sent down here by my constituents based off my morals and my convictions, based off of what's in my heart. And I can't look Representative Sullivan in the eye. I can't look other members of my community in the eye who have lost family members who would want that if I would want the same thing. And for that reason, I will be a no today. It didn't come easily. There was a lot of tears, a lot of discussions with my wife, a lot of discussions with my constituents. 
And I don't, like I said, I don't believe that the sponsors are wrong for bringing this. But I also have to vote with what's in my heart. And I want to thank everyone for giving me the time to share that perspective and, and uh, thank the sponsors again.